Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers? If you are a developer and you create sites or UI from scratch, then today's tool is going to interest you because we have a simple online uh, drag and drop editor uh, that works, uh, that comes with thousand over uh, UI components that you can use uh, for creating them in uh, Bootstrap, Tailwind CSS, Boma and Material UI, right? And uh, it helps you to save a lot of time because uh, a lot of these UI components are already, uh, you know, the templates are already there and you just need to drag and drop with them and uh, you can then export them as uh, HTML files for you to put up your, you know, your sites or uh, apps very very quickly right so uh, you can also use this uh, let's say you are going to be using uh, you go, you're going to be designing uh, emails using this you can do it as well because uh, it can also export as a HTML and if your email editor supports uh, HTML upload you will be able to uh, you know use this as uh, a way for you to create your emails uh, or landing pages as well, right? But uh, the, today's tool is called shuffle.dev but before I dive into shuffle, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So here we are in shuffle, right? So shuffle is uh, it's very simple uh, tool right here. So what we're going to be doing is to cr uh, click on, uh, you know, create a new project and uh, what shuffle.dev does is uh, you can then pick and choose from these four different uh, CSS frameworks for you to create your uh, you know your pages or uh, your your you know your apps right your your UI and stuff like that so uh, let's say you work with uh, Tailwind use CSS, you can then select Tailwind uh, and you can see that some of them are actually overlapping so they can act, uh, so they, they actually create the same uh, you know design uh, in Tailwind CSS and Bootstrap right here okay so uh, and all you need to do is uh, just you know pick something that uh, you know would work for you. Let's say you are building a uh, dashboard UI, you can just click on start creating. Okay, and then uh, you can look at all the components that are in here. So uh, these are like containers or elements and so on. Uh, let me see. Okay, right, so you, you have your headers, right? So let's say you want to build your, you know, your your headers right here you got your navigation bar um let's see okay and then your dashboard content in here right and then any statistics okay so maybe i'll i'll, I'll remove this instead okay and Any other so okay, let's say we have an alert right here. Okay, wait, let's remove this one. Let's try something else. Okay, so this is a notice and then uh let's try something else. so maybe something like this so like maybe you saved and you know this will be the this will be the notification that comes up right okay so you can quickly you know build your UI from this right and this is meant for you to create your dashboard uh, so you know once you're done and all you need to do is you know just export this project and it will give you in a zip file and this zip file Okay, and this zip file would then have Okay, give me a second here Uh, it would then have, you know, all the files that you require Uh, you know, all the assets are in here, like any images 
right that you need to upload okay any logos right any mini logos and you know any and then the css file right here and the js file right here right and then the html file and the favicon and so on right so uh you know and so what so all you need to do is then put this up and it's going to save you a lot of time uh it also has a html um editor right here so you can quickly you know edit them as well okay and you can you also have your um individual elements here as well okay uh and if you need to edit certain things uh you know you can do so here um as well with the el uh, basic elements uh, container and so on so once you create it um you can also preview it this is how it looks like all right this is how your dashboard looks like okay and and this would be you know the dashboard uh, project that you want so let's say you are going into maybe e-commerce okay so we'll try one with e-commerce okay so let's say you're building an e-commerce site so this is the one okay so uh, so this will be the e-commerce site that we have. Uh, let's choose a header that we want. Let's say we use this one here. Okay. And then... So we have a header. Okay, so maybe we'll remove this one here. Okay. And then... Or maybe it's a, it's a product page, right? Then we'll have... Uh, we'll put our navigation bar in here again and we'll put the product information in here right and any footer so let's say we use this footer right here right and then we have a page created uh, easily and then you can export this and use this for your uh, your you know your the the site that you want to create okay so it's very simple they have a light mode and dark mode uh, whichever you are more comfortable working in and uh, you can there's a global styles that you can uh, you can quickly edit uh, like the background color the text color right so you can just save a lot of time uh, you know changing them very very quickly right so it's you know implemented uh, maybe we'll use like a light grey okay. right so it's uh, you know edited very easily uh, and then the text color you want to change them and uh, you know the font type that you want to be using right colors any containers uh, and then your uh, any custom CSS that you want to be adding to make some changes okay and then once you're done you can just you know very quickly export them them uh, and you can start making use of uh, you know the CSS for yourself right so pretty much that's uh, what it is right you can view all the libraries that they have right here so they are always constantly adding new libraries right here uh, and they have, you know, they are meant for different libraries are, are made for different stuff, right? So we've got the dashboard library, you got the landing page library, you have uh, more landing page libraries, uh, components library, uh, more components library, landing page library, right? Dashboard library, e-commerce library, and so on, right? So this is going to help you to save uh, time when you are developing your uh, website or your uh your your web app that you want to create or your maybe even your mobile app that you want to create right so pretty much that's what um shuffle dev does um i think that it saves a lot of time especially for busy, busy um developers it's a uh, 
you know simple online uh, drag and drop builder that works with all uh with with you know four different uh, css frameworks and you know you can just work with the one that you you like and uh, i can also see that they are having a feature that allows you to export to wordpress directly as well so um, that is actually coming in the next uh, couple of months right so you will then be able to design your website entirely within shuffle.dev and export them to wordpress and uh, you know that's going to save you time right there and uh, i I guess that's all I have to share. Um, if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you know anyone who, uh, you know, any developer who wants or, or any, uh, uh, you know, any developer that, that just uh, wants to save time in designing, you know, I think that this tool is going to help. And, and not just developers, but also um, maybe marketers as well that, uh you know got to, uh you that you are uh forced to work with html right and then i think that shuffle.dev is going to save you time right there uh and um so be sure to share this video with them and lastly um let me know what you think about shuffle.dev in the comments below i'll see you in my next video